yes, we're still on alert, looking at those rain clouds lurking nearby, just east of uh, the island chain. And uh, because of uh, this, the Met Service is warning that it could be impacts for waterlogged areas, even though we may see not prolonged showers, but still the occasional showers will likely cause the water levels to rise faster than normal, especially over those are waterlogged areas, and the possibility of landslips and landslides still exists. But you can just see here, a lot of the clouds are still staying offshore. There were a few showers that are passing through Tobago, 11 millimeters recorded in the last 24 hours, down towards eastern Trinidad as well. There have been some showers coming through. But if you notice here, there's a lot of a turn, a twist in the cloud, and that's all courtesy of that mid to upper level low pressure trough. And a lot of moisture continues to funnel its way, and it will likely begin to push in, especially towards the northern segment of the Eastern Caribbean as we go through the next few days. But still, the IDCZ will be lingering close to Trinidad and Tobago, so the possibility of some heavy showers is still likely, especially over those at southern areas. So be mindful about that. But meanwhile, further to the east, uh, there is uh, no tropical systems to talk about, but the ITCZ is still out there, so the possibility of some showers coming by into the weekend still exists. So for Tobago, look for cloudy spells with occasional showers. A few of those showers as we go through the morning will likely begin to accumulate over the main ridge. The possibility of a shower turning heavy or thundery still exists, especially during the heat of the afternoon and along the southern parts of the Tobago. Similarly, for Trinidad, look for some of the clouds down towards the south coast, possibility of them turning heavy along their Columbus Channel. Most areas should see occasional clouds and showers overnight, but once we get tomorrow morning and your heating adds up, you'll notice all along the northern range is for the eastern areas pushing into Shukwanas as well. Occasional showers, cloudy spells turning heavy from time to time, and a few of those showers as well spilling over out towards Diego Martin and Port of Spain. But the southern areas is usually where the focus is right now. Of Obviously, for those waterlogged areas and areas that are under flood waters, obviously the additional rainfall, even though it may not fall on your area per se, will likely raise river levels and obviously the possibility of a flooding and a waters rising faster than normal. Now, for the rest of the week, Tobago will at least begin to see some sunshine, at least through Friday and Saturday, but watch out for Sunday. Another round of thunder showers is likely, particularly for Trinidad, as we will see a bit more in terms of those heavier bursts to end the weekend. So temperature-wise, not much to talk about but it will feel quite humid so if you're looking to head to the beaches it's a moderate to, to choppy conditions out there in the atlantic two meters for the most part there maybe pushing two and a half the further east you go and watch out for the southeasterly winds for sailing at 10 to 15 knots now there's a one disturbance which is uh, still set to impact uh, parts of uh, central america nicaragua up towards uh, belize all of the areas that were affected previously by nate so additional rainfall is not welcome not as Fortunately, as the system moves to the north, it could well begin to intensify and bring some more rainfall there, especially towards parts of western Cuba. But at least uh, for now, Havana should be mostly sunny, but cool and breezy, no higher than 27 degrees Celsius. Thunder showers, however, will likely drift into Jamaica, with the possibility of some of those showers turning heavier as well. Out towards eastern Caribbean, uh, that uh, finger of a cloud will likely push into Antigua, probably getting as far north as St. Kitts. But down towards Roseau, there is the risk of thunder showers there. Down towards Castries as well, the showers will be in and out. But out towards Bridgetown, there's a flood warning in effect. And obviously, they'll be watching for those heavier showers to continue as the rainfall accumulates across many islands of the eastern Caribbean. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.